So something along the lines like that happened, and Tian Tian Li is not here with us today. However, he is going to be here by virtue of the magic of video. Miles, please. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Stanley uh, Tian Tian. I'm in China now. I'm very sorry I cannot go to Paris to meet you. So I have to prepare this video for my presentation. And my presentation is something about the XY. So it is great honor for me to introduce the XY to you. Uh, now I'm going to introduce some basic profile of the XY. The XY was started in the year of 2000, 12 years ago. It's a pretty long time. Uh, right now we have over 3 million users and most of our users are uh, clinical physicians. And 64% physicians are located in tier 3 hospitals. In China we have tier 1, tier 2 and tier 3 hospital. Tier 3 hospital is the best hospital. Is public hospital and also most of the tier 3 hospitals are located in the capital city in China and here I, I want to show you two uh, groups of data to tell you the different levels of our members you we, we know that uh, doctor we have the residents attending doctor uh, associate senior doctor and senior doctor so uh, in the first row this is the distribution of the XY we have 3% senior doctor, 8% associate senior doctor, 21% attending doctor, and 68 residents. The next row shows the natural distribution in China. We collect this data from the uh, statistics report on MOH uh, website. So in China, usually we have 2% senior doctor, 10% associate senior doctor, 28% attending doctor, and 60% residents. So if we compare these two groups of data, we found that it is very similar, but there is one thing different that the XY has more younger doctors than the natural distribution. But if you see the senior doctor, we have 1% higher than the natural distribution, which means many senior doctors are also very active in the XY. And right now we have 120 employees in China and four offices. The head headquarters of the XY is in Hangzhou. And in this slide, I'm going to introduce our services. The first picture is the portal, is the homepage of the XY. We help pharmaceutical companies to launch some events on the XY. I can introduce more uh, in the interview later. And also we have the banner advertisement. So the pharmaceutical companies, life science companies, they can post their uh, promotions on the XY on the front page. And here is the forum of the XY. Actually, the XY start from a forum, and right now we have over 100 different specialties and subspecialties. But the most popular part in the XY is clinical medicine. We also have the life science part and the pharmaceutical research part. Um, so uh, in, in the XY, the members will actively exchange ideas, communicate with each other, discuss with each other, post their opinions, their comments. So the uh, uh, forum is very active. But the forum is not only enough because the forum is topic-centered. Um, but the, we have to adopt some features from other social media. So we adopt several features from YouTube, uh, from Twitter and Facebook. Like you, in the XY, you can follow somebody, you can follow some topic. Because a uh, forum is topic-centered, but uh, the social media should be people-centered. So we combine these two things together. So in forum, it's topic-centered, but in the backend, it's still uh, people-centered. If you follow somebody, follow some topic, if the people you follow the post some new comments or new posts, it will generate a new news feed and the news feed will automatically be displayed in your uh, backend. So if you log on the XY, go to your own uh, 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 backend, you can check out these updated fees. It's very convenient for the physicians because physician is always busy. 
And this picture is Belmart. Belmart is focused on the e-commerce platform uh, because in China, many physicians, they need to do uh, scientific research. They have to buy reagents, antibodies, cell lines, experimental animals, everything. But they have very li little time to figure out the price or quality. So we set up this website to help physicians to pick up the, uh, uh, some merchants or compare the qualities. Of course, this uh, platform is, uh, is not free. Um, we charge the membership fee from the company. We charge uh, the listing fee from the life science companies. After being a member of Belmart, the company can upload their products online. So through this website, uh, we help physicians to do the scientific research and we also help life science companies to promote their products online and the job MD is over another product um, we build up this website to help pharmaceutical companies to help private hospitals to recruit talented people since the XY has been running for 12 years we have set up a huge talent pool so we use this platform um, to help physicians to find a job and also we help the industry, the companies, to find the people. And we also charge the membership fee to the, uh, from the companies. Both the two products, Belmart and JobMD, are all free for physicians because they are our users and we care about their experiences. We don't charge membership fee from our users. And this product is a very new developed. It's focused on the mobile applications we develop a mobile application. The name is Drug Assistant. We collect a, a description manual of uh, prescribed drugs and we make it uh, in the, into iPhone, iPad, and Android. And uh, this application is also free and the physicians can download this app from App Store or Android Market. Um, it's quite, we are quite optimistic about this uh, application because in China, mobile application is growing very fast recently. Uh, since last eight months, uh, this application totally has been downloaded over two million times. Of course, not all of the downloading is physician. We, um, we noticed that there are several lay people, the ordinary people also download this application. And we figure out maybe they just uh, want to find out some drug information because uh, not uh, because this application in China is very welcome and very authoritative it has been hold the top position in the medical category in Chinese uh, uh, market so we are quite optimistic about these applications and uh, that's all that's the basic introduction of the XY and if you have more questions I would like to answer your questions later. And thank you very much for your attention. May you have a very good day in Paris. 谢谢大家, 祝大家在巴黎玩得愉快, We're ready for the question period. And believe it or not, I have his number on my cell phone. And we didn't have time to test whether it would work. But I believe that if I put the cell phone on speakerphone, you can hear his answer. So. I would, would like to try asking him one question. He's waiting over there at six hours later. Does anybody have one burning question for Tian Tian about his organization in China, or else I'll ask the question. You know, there's, um, is it uh, who wants to be a millionaire, where you call somebody at home and ask them a question? We'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll stop right away. Hello? Hello, Tian Tian. You wanted, wanted to just hello? Say, say hello. Speak really loud. Hi, uh, Denise? Yes, we're, we're Denise and a few friends are listening to you. Okay. So, so we've just seen okay. we've just seen your video, and I'd like to know um, 
What are your plans? Is there any one major thing that you're planning to change about the offer to the physicians? What's the next big thing that Chinese physicians want? Uh, I'm sorry, Denise. Uh, I, I need to uh, understand your question okay. clearly. Yeah, my question is... Yeah, mm-hmm. Hello? Yep, yep. If you don't like that question, pick another one. <laughs> I need to understand your question first, and then I can try to answer. Okay. What are you doing next with your website? What's going to be new? I think um, the content is very important, uh, especially if you want to attract more physicians to visit your website. And right now we are, uh, I think the next thing we are going to do is we are trying to provide more uh, high quality content to the Chinese physicians. And also uh, we want to, uh, the next change, big change I think could be uh, mobile applications. Because uh, in China, um, the mobile application market is, is growing very fast. So we want to catch up with this trend and develop more useful tools uh, on the mobile, uh, on the smartphones, and provide it to the uh, Chinese physicians. I think content uh, king, and the mobile application is the queen. Uh, content plus tools will generate a great, uh, useful um, uh, platform for Chinese physicians. Okay, thank you. I think you've made a tweet there with content is king and mobile is queen. I'm sure that that from Stanley, Tian Chan likes to be called Stanley. Stanley Lee has made an impact around the world with this tweet that I'm sure a number of you will do. I'm going to hang up because otherwise it looks weird. And uh, I'm going to go on to further questions here. Thank you, Stanley. You can go to bed now. You're welcome. Okay, so, so who has questions? Oh.